All right, fifth grade math students, uh, this is 303 Monster Multiplication. Um, this, it says there are seven pa uh, pages to this lesson, but there are always more. Um, for especially for the folks that are new, uh, there's a lot to do on each page. Uh, there's a video to see here or audio sometimes, um, things to click on. So uh, the, the, the need is to uh, scroll all the way down, click on everything, uh, because these lessons are quite a bit more dense than, you, uh, than they first appear. Um, here on page three, you know, it says it's page three of seven, but look, page three has four pages in it um, built in. And so um, keep scrolling, keep clicking, uh, keep doing all of the activities. Some of the activities are for grades, some are just for practice. Um, here's four steps of, a, of, of, the, of two different examples to learn from. Typically, uh, assignments are going to be on the last page of a lesson. Not always, but typically. Um, and so whether you're, I would like to see everybody's paper version, I guess, of this, um, you can, uh, it would be best because if you make a mistake on multiplication or, or most things, it's really helpful for the teacher to see your work so that, uh, we can help spot a misunderstanding. And so, um, I know that people are doing some work um, with the digital tools, and that's fine. Um, but when I just see a correct answer to a problem that has many steps, it's it's hard to know. It's hard to know, you know, how to help somebody that isn't getting it correct. So, a photograph of or a scan of pencil and paper work would be great um, for math assignments generally. Now, when you so that's that's where you find the assignment here to turn it in. Um, when navigating Buzz, if you just keep clicking ahead here, it's going to take you to the next lesson, and you've you've missed the place where you turn the lesson in. And the way you find that is by clicking on the little forward arrow here after the last slide. And you uh, students have a submission box with a plus, and you could either upload. Um, a file, which might be a picture of the work or a scan of the work or uh, digitally completed work. Um, that's where you would put it and move on to the next lesson.